the internet is absolutely packed with endless amounts of blog posts, tweets, videos, and social media ramblings, all offering to teach you something they think you don't already know. And to be honest, you're probably already sick of sorting through content to try and find the information you're actually looking for. Our content marketing strategy has the potential to bring huge benefits to your business and help you cut through the noise in the digital world. However, with over 70% of businesses now actively investing in content marketing, it's important to understand what a content marketing strategy is, why you need one for your business to thrive, and how it can help you stand out from the crowd. Hey guys, it's Liv here from Neighborhood where we help brands find, sell, and keep their people. So let's start with the obvious. What is a content marketing strategy? A content marketing strategy is, quite simply, a fancy name for how you manage your online presence and information. If you're watching this, then you've probably already got some form of content marketing under your belt, whether you know it or not. Let's say you've got a Facebook page where you share information about your e-commerce products. In the past, you've shared customer reviews, how-to videos that you've made, and the infographics about the benefits of your products versus those offered by your competitors. This is content marketing because you're publishing that content. Your content marketing strategy covers the how, why, when, and where of your content. So if you post your videos on Facebook because you know that's where your customers are concentrated, that's part of your content marketing strategy. And if you publish how-to videos every Tuesday because you typically launch products every Friday, then that's the when. When you're looking at building a content marketing strategy, it's easy to get it confused with the content marketing plan, which only deals with what you're going to publish and not the finer details. Using the same example, if you decide you want to publish how-to videos to promote your new product, that's your content marketing plan, because that's what you want to publish. So how about a question? Do I need a content marketing strategy? Let's put it this way. We all know that to test if your spaghetti's done, one of the best methods is to throw it at the wall and see if it sticks, right? It's a proven method and it works. But if you're fairly inexperienced in the spaghetti cooking game and have no idea when you should be pegging your pasta at a wall, your kitchen wall is probably going to be covered in starchy spaghetti stains real quick. However, if you put the spaghetti in and make a note of the time, set a timer on your phone and come back to test it when it's got a better chance of being cooked, your wall probably isn't gonna be covered in as many annoying spaghetti stains. Content, and go with me on this, is a bit like spaghetti. While you can try the old throw it at a wall over and over and see what sticks method, it's far more effective to have a plan in place before you get started. See, it's all about being calculated with your content. According to the Content Marketing Institute, 60% of content marketers who work with a documented content strategy think their organization is effective at content marketing. Only 32% of content marketers with an undocumented strategy say the same. And a shocking 7% of content marketers who work with no content marketing strategy at all think they're doing a good job. So, to get you ahead of the competition, you need to stop throwing everything you have into the wind, or all your pasta at a wall, and you need to start planning what you're going to publish online. Once you do, you've got a far greater chance of seeing a positive return on your investment and more engagement with your target audience. So how about another question? Why is content marketing important? Content marketing is one of the most important things to invest in to promote your sales funnel in digital marketing. For starters, Demand Metric found that on average, content marketing costs 62% less than traditional marketing, but it generates up to three times as many leads. Whether you've got a small business yourself or you're looking at introducing new marketing efforts on a budget, Content marketing is a powerful solution. In a study of B2B purchases, 71% said that they'd read a blog post about a product or service during their purchasing journey. Blogs and articles can be a powerful tool at almost every stage of the buyer's journey, and these statistics show that your customers want to read more about what you're selling before they make a decision. However, it's not only written content that's important to your business. Research shows that video marketing is becoming more valuable year on year, particularly with younger audiences. Not only are millennial and Gen Z customers watching more videos each day than their predecessors, but with monetization tools through platforms like YouTube, video content has the potential to offer a higher ROI than other forms of content. One of the biggest challenges facing business owners and marketers like you is the rapid growth of ad-blocking browser extensions and add-ons. With customers seeing an average of 5,000 ads each day, 
There's no wonder this technology is becoming more popular. Your customers are sick of seeing ads while they're browsing the internet. So it's time to move away from paid advertising and towards content marketing. If anything, investing in content marketing means you're not wasting money on ads that don't ever get seen by your customers. Plus, websites that publish blogs and articles have an average of 434% more pages indexed on search engines than those that don't use content marketing. Recent research suggests that 81% of people search for products or services online, making SEO, or search engine optimization, an extremely valuable asset for your content marketing funnel. If you enjoy this video, be sure to subscribe and leave a like. And if you're on YouTube, make sure you hit that bell so you can stay up to date on all of our latest videos delivered every week to your inbox. What are the foundations of a successful content marketing strategy? So now that I've probably convinced you that you need a content marketing strategy in your life, it's time to take a look at what you need to include in that strategy to make it the best thing to happen to your business since you came along. You know by now that to be successful with content marketing, you need to pay close attention to how you form your content marketing strategy. While we'll go through the process step-by-step step in the next bit, here are some key things you need to understand before you get started. Brand positioning. Before you even start to plan your content, you need to develop a deeper understanding of your brand, what you sell, who you sell to, and why you do what you do. This might seem like overkill, but trust me, doing this work now will help to inform a lot of different factors later on. Providing value. With so much content available on the internet, your content marketing has to be useful to your customers for them to wanna to pay attention to it. One of the biggest mistakes that content marketers make with their strategy is to assume that their customers care about endless how-to videos and comparison articles without doing their research into what their customers will actually find useful. So you need to ask yourself, why your customers should pay attention to your content? What are you offering them? What's valuable to them? and how can you deliver that content. Whether the value is provided through teaching them something new, inspiring them, helping them to make a decision, or even providing them with a new opinion on a current debate, your content needs to be worth your customer's time. Your business case. A content marketing strategy will cost you both time and money. No matter if you own the business you're doing the marketing for, or you're trying to make the case for a new marketing investment, you'll need to understand what your content marketing strategy aims to do for your business. You'll need to understand what resources you have available to you and how you can invest these into your content marketing. You should also look into what new tools and materials you'll need to make sure your marketing strategy is a success. A key thing to note now is that you should have some idea of what you want your content marketing to achieve. If you're not sure what those goals are yet, then you need to take some time now to get those nailed down before you even start thinking about what content you want to publish. Sorry to burst your bubble. Strategic plan. Once you know what your goals are for your content marketing, then you can start building a plan around how you're going to achieve those goals. It's at this point that you'll start looking into what specific content you want to publish, who your target audience is, and how you're gonna reach them. So your plan might start looking like a game of Cluedo with list items like how-to articles for moms on Facebook, but you'll start to build the bigger picture of your content marketing strategy. You'll also wanna understand how you're going to track your content marketing efforts and how you'll know if you're going to achieve your goals. There's a massive variety of tools available to help you with this, such as Google Analytics and SEMrush, so you'll need to do your research to find the best tools for you. Now, how to build your content marketing strategy. Let's get into it. Step one, determine your goals. Like I mentioned earlier, you'll need to know what your goals are to effectively plan for them. We recommend understanding what your goals are and writing them down before you get going with your content marketing strategy, because then you'll be able to look at the entire process with your intended outcome in mind. Step two, know your audience. You can't publish great content if you don't know who's gonna be consuming it. Now that you know your content marketing goals, you need to build a buyer persona, or ideally multiple, to understand who your audience is. A great place to start is with the jobs to be done framework. This framework will help you to understand who your customers are and why they need your product or service so you can tailor your content directly to them. Step three, content audit. With more than 70 million blog posts published each month, you're going to have to work hard to stand out against the noise. Whether you've already got an existing blog or you want a more detailed look at the content of your web pages, you need to run a content audit to see the full extent of what you've got and the effectiveness of what you've got. Step number four, research topics and keywords. By now, you should have an idea of what content's missing from your content library, as well as what your customers are looking for. At this stage, you'll start researching topics around your business and your products, as well as the search terms that your customers are using to find you and your competitors. Step five, plan your content. We often refer to a content marketing funnel, 
and this simply means that your content marketing should span as much of the buyer's journey as possible. As a quick example, here's how your content could associate with each of the stages of the buyer's journey. Starting with awareness. You'll want articles that answer a question or address a problem at this stage. Going down to consideration, people want articles that compare competing products and content that educates them about the best way to solve their problem. And decision. Product review articles and supportive content about your product, like your business's charity work, etc. You should also think about the format your content will take and how you're going to diversify it. We recommend using a variety of formats to take advantage of their individual strengths, such as combining blog posts with infographics or videos with articles, like you're seeing now. Step six, create an editorial calendar. Any good content marketing strategy needs to be consistent. So you need to start plugging your content ideas into an editorial calendar. This is one of the most common content marketing tips but in our experience, it's also the most ignored. However, having an editorial calendar is vital for keeping you on track with your content marketing strategy. I'm not gonna lie to you, content marketing is kind of tough, particularly if you don't have a team to handle it for you, but an editorial calendar will help keep yourself accountable and prioritize your workload so you can get your content published on time, coming from someone who knows. Step seven, begin producing and publishing your content. Yay, you finally reached the exciting bit. Now all of the admin is out of the way, you can start writing, filming, or designing the content you planned in the previous stages. With your keyword and topic research behind you, this will help your content be as SEO friendly as possible. With that in mind, we recommend that you check out this guide to SEO from Moz in the link below, as this goes more into depth about how to optimize your content as much as possible for organic traffic. Before you publish your content, you also need to think about how you're going to distribute it. From the earlier steps, you should have an idea of where your target audiences are likely to be, but we recommend publishing content across a variety of channels to get you the maximum possible exposure. Step eight, analyze your performance. Once your content has been published for a while, you want to dive into your analytics software and make sure it's performing well. Depending on your goals, you might prioritize some metrics over others, but you should get a broad view of how your content's doing. Don't worry if your first published bit of content doesn't perform as well as you'd expected. I know you probably spent ages on it. Content marketing is a marathon, not a sprint, and a big part of the analytics process is figuring out how you can improve on your previous work. Step nine, keep it up. With a better understanding of how your content performs online, you can use that knowledge and apply it to your content marketing plan and editorial calendar, so the next content you publish will be even better. Don't forget to keep your end goal in mind and congratulate yourself for every step you take towards it. Content marketing can be a steep learning curve, so be prepared to make mistakes and learn from them, because when you do, your content marketing will be all the better for it. If you found this video helpful, feel free to share it with someone you know that needs a hand with content marketing. You can also subscribe to our blog where you'll find a bunch more tools, tips, and templates to help you find, sell, and keep your people just like Neighborhood does. So that's it from me, happy marketing.